Baruch Shani, to Baruch 21. And I went thence and sat in the valley of Kidron, in a cave of the earth, and I sanctified my soul there. And I ate no bread, yet I was not hungry, and I drank no water, yet I thirsted not. And I was there till the seventh day, as he had commanded me. And afterwards I came to that place where he had spoken with me. And it came to pass at sunset that my soul took much thought, and I began to speak in the presence of El Elohim, and said, O you that have made the earth, hear me that have fixed the firmament by your word, and have made firm the height of the heaven by the Ruach, that have called from the beginning of the world that which did not yet exist, and they obeyed, the, rather, and they obey you. You that have commanded the air by your nod, and have seen those things which are to be as those things which you are doing. You that rule with great thought the hosts that stand before you, also the countless holy beings which you did make from the beginning of flame and fire which stand round about your throne, you rule with indignation. To you only does this belong, that you should do forth with whatsoever you wish. Who cause the drops of rain to rain by number upon the earth, and alone know the consummation of the times before they come. Have respect unto my prayer, for you alone are able to sustain all who are those who have passed away, and those who are to be, those who sin, and those who are righteous, as living and being past, finding out. For you alone do live immortal, and past finding out, and know the number of mankind. And if in time many have sinned, Yet others, not a few, have been righteous. You know where you preserve the end of those who have sinned, or the consummation of those who have been righteous. For if there were this life only, which belongs to all men, nothing could be more bitter than this. For of what profit is strength that turns to sickness, or fullness of food that turns to famine, or beauty that turns to ugliness. For the nature of man is always changeable. For what we were formerly, now we no longer are. And what we now are, we shall not afterwards remain. For if a consummation had not been prepared for all, in vain would have been their beginning. But, regarding everything that comes from you, do inform me, and regarding everything about which I ask you, do enlighten me. How long will that which is corruptible remain? And how long will the time of mortals be pro prospered? And until what time will those who transgress in the world be polluted with much wickedness? Command, therefore, in mercy, and accomplish all that you said you would bring, that your might may be made known to those who think that your long-suffering is weakness. And show to those who know not that everything that has befallen us and our city until now has been according to the long-suffering of your power, because on account of your name, you have called us a beloved people. 
Bring to an end, therefore, henceforth, mortality, and reprove accordingly the angel of death, and let your glory appear, and let the might of your beauty be known, and let Sheol be sealed, so that from henceforth it may not receive the dead, and let the treasures, rather treasuries of souls, Restore those which are enclosed in them. For there have been many years like those that are desolate from the days of Avraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov and all those who are like them who sleep in the earth on whose account you did say that you had created the world. And now quickly show your glory. And do not defer what has been promised by you. And when I had completed the words of this prayer, I was greatly weakened. <laughs>